so you friends welcome back to another lit video today's tutorial will be on how to draft and cut a corset i implore you not to skip any parts because it will be well detailed and before we move over to the work table if you're yet to subscribe to this channel why don't you consider subscribing right now kindly click on the subscribe button down below that red button click on it and subscribe also turn on the post notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video, which I do every week. Without further ado, guys, let's go over to the work table. So guys, I have my basic body pattern on the paper in like manner. Can you see it? This is the pattern I'll be making use of. So, from the shoulder line right here, this is the chest line. This is the bust point. So these are the measurements you will need. You will make use of to draft out your curved busty, the bust point, the under bust, and your waistline. So this will be like an half bodies um, busty top. So this is my chest line. This is the bust point. This is the under bust, and the waistline. So from this point, I can join my skirt or my peplum to it, or even a jumpsuit. So the first thing we are going to do now is to insert our bust fan. That is the nipple to nipple measurement. Mine is four inches. So I will insert that right here. By this point, I'll make it four one quarter inches. So measure yours and divide it by two. On the waistline, I will also insert it on the bust point line. And roll it into a straight line. Now, on the waist, I will take in the darts. For the waist darts, I will take in half inch on both sides. In like manner, half inch on both sides. You can do one inch. Then on the Honda bust, I will take in three quarter inch on both sides. That is quarter inch more than the that I took for the waist. So three quarter inch is right here. Can you see it? You can use the same waist um that you took for the under bust, and you can just make it one quarter inch more. So I will connect it in like manner. Then on the bust point, I will come down by one inch. And using the ham hook off, I will connect it in like manner. Now, I will have to get the midpoint of what I have for my shoulder here. You know, to get this shoulder scope, I use the 3 inches, 8 inches standard. You can check the description box below for a detailed tutorial on how to draft a basic body pattern. You will see that there. Check it out. So, I will get the midpoint of what I have from the shoulder scope right to this point. Here, I have 4 and half inches. So, half of that is 2 one quarter inches which is right here and i'll connect it to the bust point now the next thing is to determine how low you want your cup to be how low you want it to be and you can use the measurement from your bust point to your honda bust mine is four inches from my bust point to the honda bust is four inches so I'll be using that. So I will take that measurement from the bust point upward. Four inches upward. Four inches right here. So this is just to determine how low you want your cupped bust to be. So between three to four inches is okay. So 
this will determine how high you want your cup busty to be now from this point you will determine how low you want the middle part to be that is the cleavage going in into the cleavage you determine the depth of the middle parts so from this line now you determine the depth of the middle part how deep you want it to go so i'll make that two and a half inches you can make it between two or two and a half inches or better still let's make it two inches so it will be exactly on the chest line i don't want it to go in deep so it won't show much cleavage so it will be exactly on the chest line two inches from this point down here is on the chest line then on the chest line i will take half inch this half inch is the that space between the boobs the two lines the two the line between the boobs is for this half inch so on the boss point two i'll go in by half inch and connect both together can you see i hope you understood what i explained there so going up by the measurement i have from my bust point to the under bust which is four inches this will determine how high i want the cupped bust to be the starting point of the cupped um, bust so you can use the measurement from your bust point to your under bust or you can add half inch to it but i make i made use of the exact measurement i have so that is the four inches that i came up by from the bust point four inches upward now from this line now i want to determine how deep i want the uh, bust to be towards the cleavage so i came down by two inches because i don't want it to be too deep and at that two inches point which i said is on the chest line i went in by half inch and also half inch on the boss point line and connect the two can you see so this part now is that space in between the boobs so are you getting that now moving forward now whatever that we have for the honda bust we are going to insert it on this line the four inches that i came up by that is the starting point for the cupped uh, busty right here so right i have one and a half inches you know i took in three quarter inch on both sides for the that and three quarter plus three quarter inches that is one inches one and a half inches rather three quarter inch plus three quarter inches one and a half inches so the one and a half inches now i will input it right here so one inch will be towards the side piece this is the side pattern while the other half inch the remaining half inch will be towards the center which is right here can you see that so from there i will connect it to the boss point line i'll connect it to half of my boss pan on the boss point on the boss point line So whatever measurement you have here for example if you're taking one inch on both sides for your under bust that that means you have two inches so when you are taking in your dart at this point one and a half inches should be towards the side pattern so towards the side panel while the remaining half inch should be towards the center panel do you get it now so since I have one and a half inches for, for my own dart here, one inch is towards the side panel, while the remaining half inch is towards the center panel. Now, I will take my hand hook off and connect it from the Honda bust dart here, this point, to 
the mid middle here that is the middle of the two boobs so i will connect it in like manner just take your time when you are using your curves So can you see I connected it from the Honda bust down to this point now for the side pattern for the side piece I will come in by two inches from the side piece here can you see from this side panel I'll come in by two inches so two inches is exactly on my armhole line two inches is exactly on the armhole line here and I'll come down by half inch. So this is to determine where I will curve the other part to. So I will roll it into a straight line and use the handhold curve to also connect it right there. you see so connect it in like manner can you see that now for the hopper part for this part now to avoid gaping that is when you finish up your cup on busty you don't want it to be opening at this part for example take a look at something like this to avoid it opening in like manner to avoid it opening that is what i mean by gaping you will take in half inch darts on both sides half inch so i will take in half inch right here and also half inch on the other side too and connect it to the bust point Then I'll take in whatever measurement I have here. Let me measure it. Yeah, I have four one quarter inches, and yeah, I have four five eight inches. So this line now is shorter than this line. So I have to make them equal. So here I have four one quarter inches, like I said. So I'll make sure I also have four one quarter inches right here. So I'll measure four one quarter inches, which is what I have right here. Can you see that? So four one quarter inches on this line, four one quarter inches on this line. So I will use the hammer curve and connect it. And also connect it in like manner to this point. Can you see that? Now, this part now will determine the kind of neckline you want. If you want a sweetheart neckline, you just bring it down in like manner. And if you also want a V neckline, that means you just draw your neckline from this point down here so i will be doing a sweet art neckline so i'll just connect it like this using the ham hook off and so it depends on the kind of neckline you want can you see that so this is the neckline towards the um space that gap in between the boobs can you see it so this is the pattern for the cupped busty also known as corsets now it now depends on the you no know, whatever design you want for your corsets you can just leave it like this exactly what i have here can you see it this is exactly the pattern i have here 
so i'll just cut out the middle in like manner and i have two sides that is what i have right here so this is the side panel why this is the center panel so this is the half inch this half inch we went in by it where i said is the um middle of the two boobs the cleavage area this is it right here so this is from one side this is it can you see it and this is the side panel and this is the center panel can you see that so if you want this kind of design for your cups busty just leave it like this you cut it out but if you want a different design you just experiment with whatever you want something like this this is like an half cupped um busty the half cupped busty then you can also make something like this initially this was the first pattern i cut out from this but i had to you know cut it out so that it won't have any joining towards the upper part here that is why you have something like this but this is initial one high cut out of it can you see so this is like the half cupped busty so if you want something like this too let's just go into that but if you want something like this just this is exact pattern for this you just cut it out in like manner but if you want something like the half cupped busty just take the measurement from this part the middle point here let's just do two and a half inches right here then from this part to three inches just to form that um pattern and also two and a half inches right here then i'll connect using the ham hook off and also connect it So can you see it now? This will be the half cupped um, busty. So by the time you are cutting it out, you cut this part, you cut here. So let me just cut it out first. You will understand better. So before I cut it, whatever measurement you have here, make sure you add it back to your pattern. So right here now I have one inch. Half inch plus half inch, that is one inch right here. And on the chest line, whatever measurements you have, just make sure you add it back to your measurements before adding your side seam allowance. So I'll just skip that. Now, before I cut it out, I will blend this part, make it in a curvy way. That is from the boss point here. I'll just curve it out in like manner. So I won't have a pointed edge at that point. Can you see that? So now I will cut it out. So guys, this is the cup. Can you see it? So if you want a half cup like this, that means you have to cut this part out. Can you see? Cut it out and make sure you label it. That will be C1, 
um, side one that is S stand for size C1 and C2. That means if you are cutting, if you are cutting a half cup, cutting this part out, so to enable you to you know, note it easily. But if you are leaving it like this, in this manner, then this is how you have. By the time you join it, and note when you are cutting it out on your fabric, make sure you had half inch allowance all through, half inch all through, to join them together. So don't forget that half inch all through when you are cutting it out on your fabric, had half inch, and this part will be on fold, on fold, and you have two of these two when you are cutting it on your fabric. Your fabric should be on fold. So if you want the back pattern, you can use any pattern for your back. I have detailed videos on that, on how to draft a princess that busty and how to draft a classic princess that pattern. So check the videos out. The links are in the description box below. Thank you for joining me, guys. We've come to the end of today's video. If this tutorial has been helpful, kindly give me a giant thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please do that now. Bye.